Hey, what's up guys? It's Sam here with CustomPCReview.com, back here again with another video for you guys. And uh, today's video is gonna be sort of like a subscriber update along with a product overview. So what I've got here is the Samsung uh, 840 and 840 Pro SSD I'm gonna show you guys. Um, but subscriber update first. So over the past couple of days, I was at the Samsung SSD Summit uh, in Seoul, Korea. And they uh, basically spent a couple days uh, talking to a lot of media members about their new SSD. So they're very, very proud of their new 840 and 840 Pro SSD that we're going to get into a little bit. Um, as well as their, you know, the future direction of their SSD business. Um, you know, the marketing that they've uh, really accomplished with their SSD. Because, you know, with the 470, with the 830, uh, they just really haven't uh, done all that much uh, in terms of you know getting the their name um, out there and really you know getting the marketing done on that. So um, it seems like they're very serious about getting um, you know future marketing on the 840, and that's something actually that's very good to hear. So um, today we're going to be taking a look at two brand new SSDs uh, from them. And uh, the first one I've got is the Samsung 840 250 gigabyte SSD. And the second one I've got is the Samsung uh, 840 Pro 256 gigabyte SSD. So uh, I definitely wanted to do some unboxings for you guys, but unfortunately Samsung, um, I don't think has the boxes ready because this is such a new product. But, um, I do have a couple accessories to show you guys. So uh, one of the accessories is just a you know USB to SATA uh, kind of thing. So very generic. Basically, you connect this uh, for transferring files. And the other thing I have is their new uh, SSD software. I don't know if it's going to look like this when it comes out. Uh, this might be a media thing only. But um, I did see a glimpse, or I, I did get a demo of their uh, SSD software and um, to be honest it looks absolutely fantastic um, you know if you guys thought Magician uh, off the 830 was pretty good you guys got to check out this uh, new Magician uh, I think it's called Magician 4 or, uh, version 4 I don't I'm, I'm not quite certain I haven't really got a chance to test that because I just got back from Korea but uh, I will be uh, doing testing on that and will be including it in the 840 review um, when I uh, publish that. So um, let's talk a little bit about the Samsung 840 as well as the 840 Pro because you guys are definitely probably interested in that. Uh, the eight, Like the 830 right here, the 840, uh, 840 as well as the 840 Pro, these are 100% Samsung. So uh, that means that the entire thing is designed and manufactured by Samsung from the casing, um, well, I'm not sure about the casing, probably a casing, but from that uh, all the way to the controller itself, the, you know, DRAM chips, all the NAND, uh, the entire design, all Samsung. Um, for the most part, if you look at the market today, I don't think there is a single company that is capable of saying that so you know like uh, Intel might have their own NAND but they source their um, controller from someone else um, you know maybe OCZ might have their own controller um, but they source their you know NAND from someone else so um, with the Samsung 840 840 Pro 830 you know so and so on all the Samsung drives pretty much all their own technology uh, only they have it so it's very very much uh, proprietary so this 840 will pretty much look like this seven nanometer or seven millimeter my bad not nanometer that would be a very small uh, SSD but seven millimeter SSD uh, comes in 120 gig 250 gig and 500 gig so this is over provisioning uh, because they are using less durable TLC or 3 bit per cell um, NAND so this is a new kind of thing uh, triple level cell pretty much has not been uh, not ever been implemented 
in uh, consumer SSD yet. So this is brand new technology. Um, they have moved down to the 21 nanometer process, so very, very small. Um, usually when they move down um, in size, you know, that always means power savings, um, you know, running cooler, and of course, um, it's it's going to be cheaper to manufacture as well. Um, Toggle 2.0 NAND, so you're going to get up to 400 uh, megabits per second on the NAND itself. Um, the original was, I think, Toggle 1.1, so it was like 133 uh, megabits per second. So three-year warranty with this. And... Um, that's pretty much it. In terms of appearance, I mean, it's got this new sandblasted kind of design. The uh, Samsung A30 right here, it had a um, hairline finish design. So uh, pretty much it's almost, you know, nearly identical. We've got the orange little box in a different spot. Got a little more, you know, branding here. On the reverse side, looks a little different, but pretty much you've got the same SSD terms of thickness about the same so uh, that is the 840 um, the 840 is going to be a little slower uh, in terms of uh, sequential writes um, I believe the number was 250 megabytes per second but um, yeah that actually I did run some benchmarks on this and <clears throat> for the most part this actually had really really fast uh, 4K reads, uh, 4K writes for that matter. Um, but yeah, definitely I'll have a full review with uh, benchmarks and all that uh, soon, as soon as I get a chance to test it, because like I said, just got back from Korea. But um, definitely have that in the uh, link below or description box below. So, um, you know, give it a couple of days and then check the description box or just go check custompcreview.com. It'll be there if it is published. So uh, the next SSD I've got is the 840 Pro. So this is de uh, this is meant for more, um, you know, enthusiasts, IT professionals, uh, maybe some enterprise use as well. And what we have here um, is... Uh, the NAND they're using at least. This is gonna be MLC NAND, 21 nanometer, uh, two bit per cell, so very standard stuff, stuff that you see on the market already today. Uh, toggle NAND, sorry, uh, you won't be able to see this kind of NAND because this is 21 nanometers. It's actually Samsung's new process. If you guys remember, the 830 did use 27 nanometer uh, NAND, so this is a much smaller NAND. Uh, it's using Toggle NAND 2.0, so like I said, uh, faster, um, NAND, of course. Um, hmm. Okay, so this SSD is going to come in very standard, uh, 128, 256 gigabyte, and 512 gigabyte capacities. And uh, let's talk a little bit about the controller itself. So right here, this is a brand new controller uh, for Samsung. This is the MDX controller. It's based off of uh, ARM R4 uh, cores. So it's got a tri-core in here and uh, each core runs at 300 megahertz so uh, basically Samsung says that each core uh, is capable of doing you know simultaneously doing different operations so maybe one could be doing writes one could be doing reads and one could be doing garbage collection or something and um, basically that will help increase the speed of the SSD however not much more is known about it but um, there's also a DRAM, DRAM cache up here. I think it goes up to 512 megabytes. Um, I think the 840 only has a 256 megabyte one. Um, but yeah, over here we got the NAND packages. Like I said, the 21 nanometer NAND, um, toggle NAND, you know, this is the fast stuff. And it's also got um, toggle NAND 2.0. So. That's that, eight packages right here, 256 gigabytes. And that is pretty much it. Oh, the Pro Edition is sporting a five-year warranty, whereas this uh, non-Pro Edition was sporting a three-year warranty. So Pro Edition, definitely a lot more value add with a five-year warranty. Um, off the top of my head, I mean, only a very few number of drives or SSD manufacturers even provide a five-year warranty. So this is definitely um, gonna be an SSD to watch out for. 
full review in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. Uh, a couple more product shots come along the way of the uh, Pro Edition if you guys are interested as well. I uh, just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Com. Back here again with another video unboxing for you guys and today I've got the Razer Black Widow Tournament Edition Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. Now the difference between the Tournament Edition and say the regular edition of the uh, Razer Black Widow is just the fact that this is a 10 keyless keyboard. So uh, 10 keyless means of course that you do not have this uh, 10 keypad on the side and um, you know it's going to be a lot more portable uh, you know, it's good for those.